Hi guys, I've been asked by a few people just to show the rotisserie that I've made for the Mini Camado. So we're just going to take you through it. This is my uh, little Camado uh, and I made the rotisserie for it. So I made this bracket which is from my gas rotisserie and this is the uh, made a template and cut that out fixed it to this this is the skewer or the spit for it for the gas one i didn't want to cut it so i left it long which is why i made the extension for it so then i want to use the rotisserie just put that on to show you the rotisserie just slots on nicely and then what I've got is a, a simple heat deflector I've just made out of some what's that one mil one and a half mil aluminium I made a template out of cardboard to get the angle and then I transferred that onto a sheet of aluminium I've cut it out with grinder and then just fix it at the back that sits on there with the notches so when the spit is in you see that fits nicely closes down on there and then just to support I just made a Support that can sit onto there so that it can rotate and it keeps it just slightly elevated off the uh, felt seal. There we go. That's the rotisserie. So just to show you the firebox. So when you're using the rotisserie, depending on how big your cut of meat is, I've got a couple of brackets there that can just slot in. and then you can put your drip tray in. So that allows you a bit for your charcoal and a bit for your drip tray. And that will then give you a fair amount of coverage for your piece of meat. But if, um, if you don't need as much, I've got an alternative. She's just made from three brackets again, bent into shape, fixed together. And you can use this either way as an elevator or a drip tray. Use it like that. If you're doing pizzas, you can turn it over. Put a pizza stone on. I've also got a standard stainless steel heat deflector, which I've made. Again, if you're doing pizzas, you would put this in first and then put your pizza stone on. And just for standard cooks, I would use the standard heat deflector. So just to show you some of the measurements on the heat retainer, you can hear, see here it is almost 30 centimetres, about 29 centimetres width on that. The height of it is approximately 
seven centimeters and out the back. It's about one and a half, just over one centimeter. One other modification that's good to do is just to flip around your top vent so that when you open it, it doesn't always come open. Make sure it's tightened up. It's always uh, better if it's the other way around, every time you open the lid, the vent can uh, come open. So if you flip it round, make sure it's tight, it can always stay in place. Another little modification for you, if you want to, is putting in a little ash basket this is like a standard little dog bowl if you get one that fits you can just cut out with a notch and that will allow you to clear up really easily knock your ash through take this out Take this out, empty it in the bin, back in, ready to cook. Nice little addition.